Hi there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. Very excited this week because I get to share with you the new NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit, the newest addition to the Jetson family. I know, now I can't get the theme song out of my head either. The Jetson Nano Developer Kit is a small, powerful computer that lets you run multiple neural networks in parallel for applications like image classification, object detection, segmentation, and speech processing. And by supporting a number of AI frameworks, such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, MXNet, and others, it allows all of us, developers, educators, makers, hackers, to start working with AI and machine learning. Let's take a look and see what it has under the hood. The GPU is a 128-core Maxwell. The CPU is a quad-core ARM57 running at 1.43 gigahertz. For memory, how does 4 gigabytes 64 LPDDR4 at 25.6 gigabytes per second sound? It's got a micro SD slot, but you'll have to provide your own micro SD card at least 16 gigabytes yourself. It's got video encoder and decoder, gigabit ethernet connectivity with a Wi-Fi card port if you want to go that route, display outputs for HDMI 2.0 and EDP 1.4, four USB 3.0 ports and a micro B port for data or power, a barrel jack connector allowing you to bump your power up to four amps at five volts, a MyPi camera port, a 40 pin expansion header with connections for GPIOs, I squared C, I squared S, SPY, and UART. There's more, but I'd like to finish this video before the new season of Game of Thrones starts so you can read about all the other features on our product page. The Jetson Nano Developer Kit is basically just an Ubuntu machine, and its setup is meticulously laid out over at NVIDIA's Autonomous Machines pages, which are linked on the product page. So with minimal effort, what can we get this to do? Well, let's take a look. I'm running one of their basic inference demos with a camera, and I'm just going to show it some objects and see if it can figure out what they are. Here's a teddy bear. If you look right up here, it knows that this is a teddy bear. It's pretty impressive. What else have we got? Let's see. How about a castle? Castle, that's outstanding. How about a pineapple? What does it think this is? Lisa Simpson? No, pineapple or ananas. So apparently it knows this is a pineapple in two languages. Show off. How about this little kitten? Lynx, okay, I'll buy that. That could be a lynx from a distance. How about this airplane? Okay, it thinks this is a hammerhead shark. Not bad. Ice cream cone. Seems to think this is a mop or a swab of some kind. Oh, if we turn it sideways, it thinks it's a trilobite. That's amazing. That's some definitely Professor Frank stuff going on right there. What if we show it a trilobite? Oh yeah, 100% trilobite. That's impressive. The big test, the Jetson Nano. Okay, it looks like it thinks this is a modem. So that's good, it is not yet self-aware. We're all safe for the time being. Now, of course, I could have done training with it as well and it would have gotten better, but working with TensorFlow and the Jetson Nano Developer Kit pretty much right out of the box, you can already see the amazing potential of this palm-sized behemoth. Get yours over at sparkfun.com, and as always, happy hacking! Hi there, Spark fans! <laughs> Song stuck out of my head to eat. <laughs> it's the newest member of the Jetson Nano. No, it isn't. It's just an Ubuntu machine. Machine? I mean, it kind of is, but because I get to share. <clears throat> Is it hot in here or am I just terrified that I don't know what I'm doing?